Andre the Giant, a man that was literally larger than life itself. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Andre the Giant. So, Andre the Giant, what this film is basically about is a documentary of Andre Romazales, and of course, aka Andre the Giant. And basically, this documentary shows his, you know, his personal life what he did in the wrestling business and what were some of the struggles he had to go through in life because of how large he was. So what did I think of Andre the Giant? Now going to this documentary, I was very excited for it. Um, I'm a huge wrestling fan. So to see this documentary be presented on one of the greatest wrestlers of all time was exciting for me. I couldn't wait to see what they could have done with this documentary on, you know, Andre the Giant. Because this man was larger than life. He was honestly, he was larger than wrestling. He was really like the first megastar of like wrestling. You know what I mean? Like he was like the first really like huge megastar of wrestling. You know, before Hulk Hogan. Like this guy was huge no pun intended honestly but he really was like this guy was an attraction everyone loved Andre the Giant and you know going to this documentary I was very excited to see how they would handle that and I gotta say it's a fantastic documentary I really loved Andre the Giant this is a fantastic documentary on the man known as Andre the Giant it really is I really loved this documentary a lot. It is quite fantastic if you ask me. So let's get into my positives with the documentary. And my positives are first being, um, I really liked seeing like his journey throughout whether it be his personal life, um, how he got into the wrestling business and how he progressed. It was just great. I loved seeing that about Andre the Giant because, you know, this man is fascinating. You know what I mean? He was a he was giant. He was seven feet. He was seven feet four. You know, he was a he was a big dude, and I was interested to see where they would go with this and where the direction they were taking this documentary. And it was awesome, honestly. Like, you know, seeing him at like sixteen years old, like wrestling, you know, trying to train and stuff like that, like um, in France and stuff like that. It was great. Like, I loved seeing that. It was awesome. Like, it, it was like a completely different person because you know he was so young and so you know it was just it was cool seeing that like I was like that's awesome you know and I really liked seeing that a lot that was pretty cool and then showing how he wrestled basically all over the world like it was so cool you know and this guy like I said was an attraction a lot of people started like hey this guy's cool let's you know let's um let's uh, cheer for him you know what I mean it was really cool I really liked that, honestly. It was really awesome, in my opinion. I really liked seeing that. And then seeing how he got to the WWE or the WWF at the time. Seeing how he got there and stuff like that. It was awesome. Like, I liked seeing that. It was so cool, honestly. And just seeing his journey and stuff like that. Whether it be also, they even talk about his um, time on The Princess Bride. They even talk about that, which is cool. And they get the whole cast to talk about it. Like, they even got Rob Reiner today. It was so cool. Like, I liked seeing that. And, like, the WrestleMania 3 match. Like, they just talk about almost everything. Honestly, it was great. Like, I really loved that a lot, honestly. Like, I really loved seeing how they showed his journey throughout his entire career and his entire life. Honestly, even the struggles they unfortunately had to deal with because of being so tall. He couldn't, you know, hide or, like, discuss it because... He was just so big, he couldn't do any of that. And whether it be with, like, leg problems, back problems, it just, you know, it was kind of tough to watch at points because of that, knowing that and the pains that he went through, unfortunately. I really like seeing the people that they got to interview for this and talk about Andre the Giant. They, of course, got a lot of the WWE superstars. They got a lot of people from WWE to talk about him. They got Jerry, 
the King Lawler, they got Shane McMahon, um, they had Mean Gene Oakland, and of course Vince McMahon. So it was awesome to see them talk about, um, you know, talk about Andre the Giant, stuff like that. And uh, Tim White, I believe that's what the man's name was. And he was honestly my favorite part in terms of like, whenever they would come back to him to talk about, because they had such a great friendship with each other. And, you know, seeing that, and then when they talk about Andre's death, just it affects him so much. Like, it's really tough to watch, like, when they talk about Andre's death and they cut back to him. Because they set such a great bond with each other. And I really liked seeing that, honestly. And he was honestly, every time they would cut back to him, it would be my favorite part in terms of the interviewing, honestly. Because just him talking about his, the special friendship. They had with Andre the Giant and stuff like that it was great, and I really like seeing that. Of course, they got Hulk Hogan to talk about him as well, which was awesome. Um, and yeah, I really thought like a lot of the interviews were really cool. Like I said before, they got the whole Princess Bride to talk, Princess Bride cast to talk about him and stuff like that. It was awesome. I really liked that a lot. I really liked a lot of the people that they got to interview for this documentary, and it was great. Um, I thought the directing was really fantastic with this documentary. It was very well shot, very well edited as well. I really did like the editing a lot with this documentary. So yeah, the directing is really solid. And for the most part, I will say I was invested into this documentary very much so. Um, it's only an hour and 24 minutes, pretty short. And, uh, you know, I will say I was invested really for the most part with this documentary. Now, the only negative that I do have with the documentary is that there were there was one time where I did feel like it was kind of dragging a bit, and kind of just being a little bit slow, just at one point, really, where I felt like it was just kind of dragging a bit. I was just kind of like, okay, we can kind of move it along a little bit, but that's about it, really, honestly. Besides that, I think this is a really fantastic documentary on a really fascinating human being, honestly. I really loved this documentary a lot and I thought it was really fantastic. So it's time for my official grade on Andre the Giant and my official grade on Andre the Giant is an A. I think this is a really fantastic documentary. I think if if you are a wrestling, like I'm talking a huge wrestling fan or just maybe just a wrestling fan in general, th there's no question you should check this out. You know, like this is like guaranteed you should check this out. Um, and if you're a non-wrestling fan, I would even recommend this to you because just to see how much of an attraction this guy was, seeing how much of a legend this guy was, and how much, you know, just this guy, like, was much more than wrestling. So yeah, I highly recommend you to watch this if you're a wrestling fan or even if you're not a wrestling fan. This is like something you have to see just to know of this guy, to know that this guy was such an attraction, such a legend in his craft. So yeah, Andre the Giant definitely deserves an A. So, what did you guys think of Andre the Giant? Please leave them in the comment section below. And I'm FilmFan0599, and we will see you all later. Peace.